everyone, it's Delicracy here, obviously, and welcome back to a new episode of Let's Play The Sims 4, Hampton Falls. I'm not even going to bother saying the number because I lose track and I keep mocking up all my episode numbers. You guys know that this is the next episode in the playlist and we will continue from here. In the last part, we had Esther show her new baby um, to her brother and sister, Crystal and Joel, so they had some nice family time, but a lot of you guys were commenting that Joel, when he saw the baby, looked a little bit uncomfortable perhaps because obviously he kind of knows that the triplets Morgan had are his kids, but no one else really knows that. He just knows that Morgan probably wouldn't have gone to the extent of murdering Constance, whom he was having an affair with, had she not had those kids that were his. Like, I think he thinks that pushed her to the next level, but he's keeping that on the DL, and I don't blame him because she's crazy. We also found out that the Ortegas have a lot of money problems right now. They are living way, 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 way beyond their means um, so they are struggling with that a little bit and Mr. Ortega is Larissa's divorce lawyer so he was the one getting Blaine to finalize the divorce so she can get remarried. After realizing that the house was absolutely disgusting he found out that social services will need to take away the kids from Blaine because he is mentally unfit to take care of them and Lauren and her brother need to go elsewhere. He then went to speak to Morgan in jail to help figure out the situation and Morgan basically said that she had a secret to tell him that might help him and her and she pretty much spilled the beans on the fact that she had seen cow plants at Joel's house. Cow plants are illegal in Hampton Falls. They are an illegal substance for aging down sims um, so it is on the black market and she basically said Bartleby and Joel are growing these and I'm sure you could essentially blackmail him for money and to help get my kids back. So she kind of said I'll tell you everything if you get me out of here and save my kids um, and he basically at the time shut her down but I'm sure it's still on his mind that offer so let's see how it unravels and let's get into it cheers I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of tea just then because we are now with Lauren and her little brother and I swear, like I swear on my mother's life, I did not place Philippe Ortega here. He just spawned as a random sim. These guys are left homeless because we just found out then that 
Blaine found out from social services that the triplets are not his kids. They did the routine DNA test to make sure that yes, these are his kids. Yes, they are Morgan's kids. Therefore, they have it on record, like who the parents are for adoption. And apparently he's not the dad. So he had a complete meltdown. Blaine has left the building. He's gone, you guys. He is like having a meltdown. He can't deal with this anymore. His emotional health and mental health is just not in a good place right now. So he has left Hampton Falls. He's left everyone. He's taken as much as he can. Unfortunately, um, Lauren and her brother have now been left with nothing. This is actually their house lot in game. They have absolutely nothing to their name. And Mr. Ortega just happened to be walking by and I feel like he's realized, oh my gosh, Blaine actually did not set anything up for these kids. Lauren was under the impression they would be moving into a new house, um, that she would be okay. And Mr. Ortega is like, this is not okay. These kids can't be like left by themselves. So I think what we'll do is since Mr. Ortega decides to spawn on the lot, I think he's going to tell these guys that they can move in with, um, with wow. his family. I yes. think he's going to be generous like that because they can't live on this lot with like a letterbox and some creepy, uh, statues of smiling rain men around them like no no this is not a healthy place for these guys okay and lauren has just collapsed uh clearly all of this has put her into a lot of stress into a state of exhaustion she clearly can't deal with this and mr ortega is like all right well this is a low point of my career i need to i need to help these kids so let's move them into his household not to mention that lauren and astrid are good friends so um, that's kind of nice for them. Oh my gosh. And she's going to have bladder failure as well. Poor Lauren. All right. So we are now at the Ortega family's household. I love this house. Um, this Spanish home is so beautiful. I actually really enjoyed when we built that. And it's so funny because across the road is their old house. So they are neighbors. I actually forgot that they lived literally across the road from each other, but it totally makes sense why Astrid and Lauren have been really close. This is kind of an uncomfortable situation for Astrid because, you know, she tries really hard to be cool. She obviously is really good friends with Bianca and wants to kind of suck up to Bianca as much as possible. She's a bit of a sheep character. And I mean, at this time in her life, and even though she's been so close with Lauren, who is also kind of a sheep character as well, because Bianca hates Lauren, because Lauren's mum like okay. messed up her family's life, <laughs> yeah, no. she does not want to really be near Lauren or want Bianca to know she's friends with Lauren. So it's kind of awkward. Meanwhile, Lauren is just going through the worst time possible. She could not care less about shallow things like social hierarchy and who's friends with the queen bee. Like clearly she knows Bianca dislikes her and Aww. Bianca bullied her, like cyber bullied her online. So she's got no interest there. We also have Astrid's little sister here, Mia Ortega. So I'm thinking, Mia and Levi should be aged up perhaps um, because it's been a little while in the let's play and I think it would be good for them to age up. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about that. But anyway, let's get to Mrs. Ortega, whose name is Nicole, to speak and share her insecurities with Philippe about taking on two more kids. Like she's like, Don't know what honey, is this no a wise chef, idea? I mean, you're a lawyer. This isn't your job to take in these kids. Honey, social services are going to take them away. They're going to be move to another town and another <laughs> lifestyle, they, they have no other choice but to live a miserable life unless we take them in. She's like, honey, are you sure about this? Do we even have the money for them? He's like, Nicole, I'll sort it out later. Just just let it go. Ooh. Let's um, add an extra room to this household because I think Astrid would go mental if she had to give up her bedroom because she's pretty spoiled, um, pretty spoiled. But, and there's also not even that much room. So we could put two single beds in here for the meantime for her and Lauren to share, or we could just put in extra beds into this bedroom, which I think is what I'm going to do for now. Uh, so let's just delete a few of these things. They don't have a heap of money, of course. So let's just figure this out the best we can. Uh, so there's two beds. I'm getting pretty expensive single beds as well, just because I feel like they want to look like they have lots of money. Oh, maybe we can't fit this in. Oh no, we should be able to. Uh, let's get rid of that. Levi can have this bed just in the corner. Oh, let's just claim that one and hide from everyone. He He's gonna turn out pretty interesting um, as a Sim. I wonder what his personality is going to be like after being 
through all of this, having his mum as a murderer put in jail when he's so young, like it'll be pretty damaging. Um, let's also get Lauren in there. She's feeling very sad about everything. Uh, Astrid's feeling pretty good and playful, so she's kind of rising above it all. But I'm thinking that maybe we should... Yeah, but say, Actually, I'll see what you guys think. Mean, I was going to say, maybe we should plan a birthday party already. But I'll see what you guys mm -hmm. think. Because it would be kind of cute if <laughs> Mia and Levi <laughs> became <laughs> friends <laughs> and aged up. That would be kind of oh, nice. So, in terms of the rest of the family, they're all in pretty good mood. I think we'll have a little, like, family chat about what's going on over here. So, let's sit them all down and explain that... Lauren and her brother are going to be they're going to be staying for a while. Astrid is like, I don't want to talk about this. But I can still have my own room, right? And it's only a temporary thing. I mean, I love Lauren, don't get me wrong, but living together is a bit much. Nicole's like, um, well, it's really up to your dad. But maybe a couple of weeks just to get them back on track. And you and Lauren are such good friends. She's like, yeah, best friends. They'll be so much fun. But Bianca doesn't really like her, so it kind of makes my social life a whole lot more complicated. What am I meant to do about that? Sweetie, I understand that socially this might make things complicated. Philippe, is there anything else you can do? I told you, they've got nowhere else to go. We are not the kind of people to not help others when they are down. All right, only for a few weeks though, honey. We need to be on Larissa's good side. I have a mother's meeting next Friday and I don't want to look bad either. It's like, oh, Nicole, grow up. Just looking at um, Astrid's relationships, she's pretty good friends with Bianca. Oh my gosh, and she has a boyfriend, Clovis? <gasps> no way! Oh my gosh, that's Patience's brother and Astrid is seeing him. I did not set that up, but that is really interesting. Um, So this is all intertwined, like... I wonder how he feels about the fact Lauren is at their house and Patience must absolutely hate Lauren as well. Um, but their relationship is so tiny now, they don't get along very well at all. So that is kind of interesting. And she's probably just like chatting to Bianca on, I don't know, on like Messenger or something. And she's probably like, oh my God, Bianca. Guess who just moved into my house? I can't believe it. Lauren is so annoying. It's not our fault that her family's psychos are messed up. I wish she wasn't living here, but at least, at least I don't have to share my room. Meanwhile, Bianca's at her house responding right back and she's probably being like, oh my God, Astrid, make sure to lock up all of your jewelry because Lauren is broke and she has nothing to her name. How embarrassing. Uh -huh. She's like, I'm so glad my mom kicked out my dad and now she's seeing Tadashi. Anyone involved with that psycho bunch of people are losers. Oh, oh and look who's oh. come inside. Larissa's is like, oh, sweetie, you look so beautiful in purple. I'm off to see Tadashi. I feel like even though Bianca uh, on the outside seems to have everything uh, under control, she seems like most uh, popular. I feel like deep down, all of this stuff worries her a lot. So I'd be curious to hear from you guys um, how you think these problems she's had are going to come to the surface. Uh, oh, right now she needs to pee though. <laughs> but I, I feel like her mom like just seeing Tadashi because socially it looks good because she just wants money. Like not having that real love in a relationship is pretty sad. So I'm going to get her to go to the bathroom right now. It's also Sunday. Uh, maybe what we'll do is now that the divorce has been finalized, maybe we'll get Larissa to go over to Tadashi's house to finalize all of their wedding details and to get the wedding underway. Okay, so Larissa is over at the Mikitani mansion and she's brought along her two kids. And they clearly know what's happening, but there is the very awkward elephant in the room, and that is that Colt is dating Emmy. And if his mum gets married to her dad, even though they're not blood related, it kind of looks bad. So I don't think he's happy about this marriage at all. He's probably like, why do you have to go for my girlfriend's dad? Like, mum, what is wrong with you can't you just be independent and not have a man in your life for two seconds <coughs> bank is probably like oh, colt get over it it's not like you even like emmy anyway Colt's like oh, you just have to get in on everyone's business mom he's clearly really bothered by it and larissa is just not listening to him she's like honey 
please or just that? think about what's yeah. best for your Gee? mother, okay? It's been really hard. Gee? Maybe if you'd spent more time with dad and be nicer to him and actually helped him, we would be the happy family we're meant to be. Oh, Cole, just shut up. You're so self-centered. Like, ugh, everything has to be about money in this family. I hate it. She's like, ugh. As if you don't love it, Colt. Yeah. Alright, so Larissa's come in and she's absolutely busting for the toilet. So she's probably like, sweetie, I've just got to run to the bathroom. I'll be two seconds. But I think also what she'll be doing in here is definitely like checking out the house, checking out if this is somewhere they want to live. I feel like Larissa probably isn't well suited to this home. I mean, it's a beautiful home, but I think she'll want to renovate her own for everyone to live in. And look who it is! Oh my gosh, I love Emmy so much. She has the best fashion sense. I, I mean, she's just so cute and she's got her own thing going on. I feel like Bianca might sometimes be a little bit jealous of that, maybe? I think we'll get Colt and Emmy to maybe mess around in a room, um, preferably when her little sister Kimiko isn't in here. So hopefully Kimiko leaves, otherwise that's just awkward. Um, so he's gonna go for a little bit of funsies <laughs> with Emmy. Meanwhile, oh, Bianca boy, is boy. schmoozing a little bit, a little bit with Tadashi. Like she knows like how important Tadashi is Harvin. for their reputation, oh, for the family, yeah. for the lifestyle. This is how she can escape everything her dad has done that's embarrassed the family. She, she can kind of help her and her mom rebuild their family reputation. Um, by living with this man who does really well for himself, he's got a great rep. Um, so let's just have a chat to him. And I feel like in front of Tadashi, she should be really, really nice to Emmy. But I feel like maybe behind Emmy's back, she wouldn't be so nice to her. Um, but definitely on the surface level, she'll be really nice to her. She's like, hi, Emmy. And then Colt goes over and kisses Emmy. She's like, oh, hi, Bianca. It's nice of Emmy not to just go with Colt and to actually spend some time with Bianca. Like, I feel like Emmy's genuinely a really nice person. And so is Akira, actually. I don't know where he is right now. Um, but Bianca's like, oh my gosh, I love your outfit. <laughs> Yay for over the knee socks, right? Although I haven't worn mine since, since last winter. I don't know, I just felt like... They don't really suit my style anymore. Emmy's kind of like, oh, I wasn't wearing them last winter. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little bit behind your style, Bianca. Emmy's probably a little bit put down by that, making her feel like she's not on trend. But she'll ignore it. She's a nice girl. She probably sees the best in people. And Larissa's like, oh, I'm so glad you girls are getting along so well. Oh, Larissa is reading out to Tadashi um, some vows that she plans to say at their wedding. She's pretty excited for it. She's like, also, Tadashi, I really need to run by the renovations of my house with you. We need to um, figure out exactly what we're doing there. All right, I've got some contractors coming in on Tuesday to check out the house. Uh, I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to sharing our life together and becoming one and being under the same roof and combining both our families. She's like, me too, Tadashi. You're an amazing man. Kimi and Mind Tadashi is like a hit movie composer. He does um, music for a lot of films. He's very, very skilled musically, and Emmy's actually the same. Emmy, we want to become a pop star, so that's pretty awesome. So this wedding needs to come underway. I'm not really sure why, but I don't think we're technically engaged yet. So I'm just gonna quickly do the propose interaction, um, just to make sure this wedding is underway. All right, I didn't Why really want Larissa to get down on her knees. Larissa, Yibs, Yibs. Oh, Doyam Hadram. Mm. All right, well, the wedding is underway. This is super exciting for both of them, and they are engaged. So we need to think about wedding venues. We need to think about the wedding happening, who's going to be invited, the guest list, yada, yada, yada. But for now, I think it's definitely well and truly time to go home to bed. We need to also do like a house renovation, um, but I think what we'll do is move the Mikitani family out of this house because there's not really much room for us to renovate on here. So I'd rather than moving to move into the bigger house with the bigger property. Uh, and also I feel like Larissa wants it to suit her aesthetic. Um, so I think we'll do that. Oh, now we're wow, back at wow, the Lockwood wow. Mansion. Uh, Larissa has Sawata, quite Pima, literally cornered um, her son into the Shini. bathroom and said that he needs to break up uh, with Emmy. Uh, She's uh, like, honey, you're too young, you don't understand, uh, but this is not a good look for our family. You can't be dating the man I'm going to marry, his daughter. That just looks revolting. I was like, mom, stop being so controlling. Uh, 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 
She's like, Zan, a whole day. As I tell you, or I will pull your entire allowance. I'll have nothing, Colt, if you don't do what I say. He's feeling pretty tense now. He's not happy about it. I mean, his mum definitely does use money to control people. Like, Larissa uses a lot of money to control. Probably like her parents did. She controlled her divorce with money. Um, and he is definitely going to go have a relaxing sauna now because he's like, I can't deal with this. Like, I don't want... Uh, Dufka. <sighs> I don't want to be controlled by my mom anymore. I feel like he'd want to escape this family and all of this. And that's why I think he's attracted to Crystal a little bit because she doesn't care about money. And oh, he's like, Crystal is so hot. I mean, let's Ugh. be real. He loves Emmy and Emmy's his girlfriend, but Emmy was a convenient way to get his mind off Crystal, whom he's been in love with his whole life. So it's really, really sad that his mom told him he couldn't be with Crystal, yes. and now his mom is telling Warwick? him he can't be with Emmy. Like, what is he meant to do in this situation? Uh, yeah, it's like, just breathe. Just relax. Everything's gonna... Everything's gonna oh, sort out. <laughs> Bianca's come into the steam room, and uh, she said, Oh my gosh, Colt, you won't believe what I just found out. Guess what Dad did? Blah. He left Lauren and the triplets at Morgan's and has disappeared. It's so sad. It's like, oh. are you serious? He did that? Man, I feel so sad for Lauren. They've been through so much. I don't really feel bad at all because Morgan's a psycho and Dad deserves it. It's karma for leaving us. It's like, Bianca, you have no idea about Mom and Dad's marriage. Colt's heading off to bed. I don't think he likes hearing that news, and I don't think he thinks Bianca knows what she's talking about. She just blames her dad for everything, whereas I feel like Colt looked up to him a little bit more and would find the news quite upsetting. So he's just going to go into his little room over here and try and get some rest, but it's definitely tough on these kids. I mean, it, it's a sad situation for everyone in Hampton Falls. I think there's a lot of drama going on, and it's a lot to keep up with. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to leave this part right here, so do let me know in the comments down below your thoughts and opinions on what's happening happening and what you want to happen next. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up because it makes me feel good and makes me really pumped to record the next one. So I would appreciate that. Anyway, as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I will speak to you soon. So, so.